Welcome back to my channel and welcome to yapping about lots and lots of books. This is an extension of my October reset. Let's talk about it. This is actually future editing Nicole. She is editing the October reset right now and realized it was over an hour long because 20 minutes were spent on the hobby board. Now the hobby board is actually set up for more like October and November, like a fall theme, not just a spooky theme or a October theme. And I feel like it makes more sense to do it as its own separate video, especially if you don't necessarily want to see where I'm cleaning and organizing my makeup vanity, which is one of the things we did in the other vlog and set up my bath cart. This one is purely gonna be hobbies, Hallmark movies, Gilmore Girls, and books, like my TBRs, my to be watched, my to be crafted, that kind of stuff, all on this board. Spoiler alert, there are a lot of books on here. You'll find out exactly how many at the end. It's probably in the title as well, actually, but anyways, when I start talking, I'm just gonna start randomly talking like I've been updating you guys because it was part of the October reset. So now you have the backstory. Let's get to actually dismantling the board and putting it back together. It is now 8.30 and I'm completely ready for the day. Plus I got all of my hobbies laid out, finished my TBR, printed off all the pictures, what I'm going to do is just take off everything that is coming down off the board and get all these pictures cut out. Then we'll touch base on what I removed, what I'm leaving, and what I'm adding. So let's try and do this fast. Let's go. Welcome to a four part series of talking about the hobby board part one, what did I remove and I'm going to keep because I'm going to read or do it later. The other half of the Dirty Air series, Wrecked and Redeemed, I'm kind of 50-50 if I like this series. I think I'm going to go ahead and put out the vlog of the first two books and then maybe next year we'll resume it if I feel interested in it. I also went ahead and removed The Deepest Lake. I've got my mind on brew and you are not alone for various reasons. I just don't see myself reading these at the rest of this year, but I think they would still be good to have on my radar. A couple of crafts that we removed, which we already talked about. I might do this diamond art in November. We'll see. And I'm going to put this coloring book away for now because I have fun seasonal ones. So that was part one. And then, oh, I also want to tell you what I'm getting rid of because there is some progress. Like I said, throttled and collided. I did read those. So we can throw those away. I also finished the Housemaid series, so I can throw that away. The Home Share. This was a DNF in April. I remember not liking it, so I don't know why it was still on my radar. I did read Wildfire, and I did read Protecting You, so those can come off. And we watched The Avengers Endgame and Ant-Man and the Wasp. All right, what did I leave on the board as part two? Not too much, but some notable things. We already talked about the crafts that are on here. I did not start the Eden series. I am starting Indigo Ridge tonight. I don't know why I pushed it off, but honestly, I think this is going to be a highly rated series and I'm in a bad mental health space, so I think that actually might have been perfect planning. So I'm excited to read that, probably fly through it in the first 10 days of October, if the way I read Clifton Forge is any indication. Then I still have Daydream because that did not come in at the library, but I am very hopeful it'll come in in October based off of where I am on the whole list. So we left that on there. I'm still working. Oh, and then the Bewitched by You and Put a Spell on You. I did not get a chance to those, but those are more October vibes. So that works great. And then I did not finish Gilmore Girls Season 1, so I left it on there. And I did watch Fall Law and Order. That's in my uh, Weekend Alone vlog. I was filming at the same time, which will come out after this. That Hallmark movie was so fun, but I did not watch any of the four that I'd already laid out. So those are on there. Now, part three is the delusional TBR. Let's do the delusional TBR part and then everything else. Why is it delusional, you ask? Because I put 43 books on it. <laughs> I did not realize it was that many. 
and there are only 31 days in the month and I do work and I have a life outside of reading. Let's talk about it, but I'm not changing it guys because I do want to keep all of these on my radar. All right, so we've got a couple series. Like I said, we have the Edens on here. So I've got that up there. And then the Honey Mountain series by Laura Pavlov, that is also on my radar. I do not mind if I read this in November. That is not a big deal, but I wanted to go ahead and have it up in case I start it in October. I also have the Catherine Cowles uh, Tattered and Torn series. That's another series for 2025. Again, don't mind if I read this in November, but I really should be starting either Laura Pavlov or Catherine Cowles by the end of October because I can't have this many series heading into Christmas. So we have to get the Edens done and start one of these. That's our agreement, guys. That's what we're gonna do. And then what is all of this? All the other things I wanna read. So I did have just two books from the Cozy Creek collection on the September TBR. They all look so good. I just went ahead and picked all six. I do not plan to read all of them. I want to have them out so I can just read whichever one sounds good, maybe as like a break in between this series. I also have this series, the BK Boris and Love Light Farms series. This is going to be an audio. I absolutely will not be finishing this on October. I can tell you that right now because I am listening to an arc and then I have three thrillers already lined up that I really want to do on audio. So I wouldn't be starting this until the last week of October. So I'm totally fine. I'm not as strict with my audio books as I am with other books, but we'll just be listening through this series. So she'll definitely hang out on the board for a while. Then I have just two books from the Sweater Weather series. These are the two I'm most interested in. I did finish my first one last night, Easy as Pie, and I rated it 3.75 stars. It was good, not great. That's why I didn't put the whole series up. I just chose the two that I think have the most promise to put on the board. Again, when am I gonna have time to read these books? I don't know. I also put four physical thrillers. So I've got two of, of these out right now. No, three of them out right now. I have one by one, the personal assistant and just another missing person on the TBR cart right now. And then what do you, what have you done? I'm picking up from the library today. Look at that, all like very blue spooky vibes. So some thrill books I can read in physical form. I also have those audios I was telling you about, although now that I'm looking at it, I have four and I only was planning to do three. So I don't know what's gonna happen, but I've got some thriller audios lined up as well. And then a couple of more random books. The Pumpkin Spice Cafe, which I bought with Kindle credits last year and never read, and everyone's reading it this year. Also bought Autumn in Sycamore Park last year. Didn't read it, everyone. No, I haven't heard anyone read that yet, but it still sounds good. So we'll put it on the TBR. Then we have By the Book. These are all featured in my fall books on Kento Unlimited, by the way, which is linked below. Awkward in October. If I'm going to read it, it has to be this month. I would not read a book called Awkward in October anytime other than October. I'm just that kind of girl. Wouldn't read it in September. Wouldn't read it in November. Definitely wouldn't read it any other time of the year. So maybe prioritize that one if it actually looks good. If it makes you happy, has Gilmore Girl vibes, I might save this for the Gilmore Girl Readathon in November. And then a very happy Halloween I specifically bought to read over Halloween. Good Lord, Nicole, that is a lot of books. Let's get these on the board and then we'll talk about everything else. Okay, wow, that's a lot. And I'm actually running out of these push pins. I hate when the pieces hang like this. So mental note, I've got tons of cute rainbow push pins at work. I'm gonna bring about 30 home. So that way I can pin everything down so it's nice and tight to the board. You guys don't care about that. Okay, in this crafting area, which I'm definitely gonna have to rearrange, I'm just adding stuff I already told you guys about. Some of those diamonds are Halloween coloring books, things like that. The other couple things I'm adding Gilmore Girls season two and three. I really want to make it a priority to read those in October. Read, watch, Nicole, it's watch. Watch these in October so that way I can watch seasons four through seven in November and be ready for Hallmark Christmas every day in December. 
that you didn't need to know that. But I do plan out my TV shows. I plan out everything on type A. Okay. Then I've got two more Hallmark movies that I'm just going to pop right here. October Kiss, favorite Halloween movie ever. It's just so cute, so adorable. That one is for sure. And then I just picked another one because why not? And then our last two Marvel movies, not last two, I think there's a couple more after this, but the two for this month is Spider-Man Far Away Home and then Shang-Chi Legend of the Ten Rings. Funny enough, that's the first Marvel movie I ever saw because we went to a drive-in theater. We are going to see a movie that uh, we wanted to see. I think it was actually um, the Ryan Reynolds, it's one of my favorite movies, Free Guy or Fall Guy, he's like in the video game. And then it was a two for one feature, so we watched that movie and then we just stayed for this one and I ended up absolutely loving it. So I'm excited to watch it again now that I've watched a ton more. Normally I pick out the drinks at the beginning of the month. I'm not gonna do that. Partially because I didn't feel like looking for them yet, and partially because I don't have room on the board, and that's okay. I'll just find them the weekends that we go to watch those movies. So let me plug those into place, and then we will check in again. I thought I was completely done with the TBR and then I went to the library on Tuesday and I picked up Big Witch Energy off the whole shelf and I was really excited because I already had Witches Get Stuff Done which is the first book by this author in this little series and then I realized I did not have these or any of my other physical witchy books on the hobby board. I only had ones I found in Kindle Unlimited but I have ones from the library. So let's talk about the couple things I'm going to squeeze on here. The TBR is absolutely insane at this point. All right, the first thing I'm gonna put on there is the pictures that match these books. This is an absolute 100% have to read these this year, basically because they go together. I have them out at the same time. That's a very hard to do, especially when it is a seasonal book. I don't wanna have to try and get them on checked out again next year. Just read them this year. This is a priority. This next set, I'm kind of like 50-50 on. Fake me, I'm looking at it and I don't think it's necessarily Halloween. It is Wolf Shifters, which I've never read a book with a Wolf Shifter before. And I do know that some people like this around Halloween, but I think I could easily read something like this in like January or February, like Wolves Winter, you know, that's just how my brain works. But if I can get it in, sure, why not? And then Casket Case, I'm on hold for it at the library. I'm number one. I just need the girl who's re or guy who's reading it right now to return it and then I'll get it. So if I don't get to these, it's not a big deal, but I did kind of highlight them because I have one of them and the other one should be coming in soon. The last three I'm way less confident about. I have Best Hex Ever, Morbidly Yours, and Hot Hex Boyfriend. I'm somewhere between number four and six on the whole list for all of these. I didn't look to see how many were in the library, so I don't know how many copies there are going around, but I'm not confident these will come in. So the reason why I put it all together is it'll be easy for me to just take this off the board and then next year put it right back on the board. All right, so I have all of these pictures I need to add, and I brought my pushman container from work because it's also driving me crazy how a lot of these are folding up. So let's just quickly finish the board and close out the vlog. And there you have the massive, massive TBR. It is by far the biggest one I've ever done. And I really think this whole visual concept helps me understand, you know, what's happening. Now, I am going to be able to save a lot of these. So I have these three series as a wanting to read actually four that I want to read in 2024. But if I don't read them, all of these could easily be pushed to January as well as the thrillers. So that's not a big deal. It's really just about half that is actually fall specific. Let's let's count it out. So let's see how many are Halloween. That's or ho October. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
9, 10. 10 are like October specific and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 are fall specific. The rest could easily be held to the next year if I needed to. So let's make that the goal to read. Well, no, we can't because we don't know if these are going to come at the library. So we'll just, stick, we'll, I don't know what we're going to read, but we'll figure it out together. Hope you guys are excited for lots of vlogs in November and October. I don't even know what's happening. My mind is still processing this. Okay. See you in the next hobby update. <laughs>